Uh, there's many different walks of life represented here, uh, and I uh, hope that we'll be able to get uh, into discussion. The idea of these panels is to leave time for audience discussion. Um, so this is a beginning meeting uh, on trying to develop a longer-term program on innovation, its transfer into intellectual property, and from there to the market and to with the goal eventually of growing the economy. Uh, and the universities are the central engine in many ways for innovation. Peter Price here, I think, is an example. We have Qualcomm, another example. We have many examples um, of um, innovation from the university that have ended up making a huge difference uh, in the economy. And so what we hadn't done at uh, Cal IT2, in particular here at the Qualcomm Institute, the UCSD division of Cal IT2, um, is have a, a, a sort of from innovation to the economy grows. And that's really what we're looking at. So we've divided it into three panels. Um, the first one is really going to talk more about um, the role of the university in both um, fostering and hopefully accelerating innovation, about how the university actually formally takes these innovations and ends up defining intellectual property, and then how does that intellectual property uh, get transferred uh, into the uh, community and we'll have actually an example of one such process that just happened uh, and is uh, going to be talked about. The second one is really, okay, let's start from that. And then how do we get to startups? And we're fortunate that uh, our new dean of engineering, Al Pisano, has done this himself personally uh, something like 10 times or, or more uh, making companies. So he's going to share some ideas. Uh, and then we have uh, one of the best uh, uh, incubators in town, Equinexus, and then, of course, our Connect program, which goes back uh, to Bill Otterson on, on how to help entrepreneurs, how to help innovators in the university become actual entrepreneurs and builders of companies. But then once the companies are out there in the marketplace, how is it that um, uh, how is it that these things actually, in the end, uh, increase uh, wealth? And so we're going to have a, a good example uh, with Peregrine Semiconductor of how uh, that is an ongoing uh, development from intellectual property to actual economic growth. Uh, we're going to have an example uh, from one of our own faculty who has taken ideas out, licensed them, created companies, and added exit. So how's that whole cycle work? And then. Um, from the venture investment community. We have the president of San Diego Venture Group that's going to uh, say how he has seen things change uh, over this uh, period. So three different, each an hour long uh, sessions. Now, one of the underlying themes of all this is what I've just seen sound, what sounds like a very benign sort of environment. But in fact, there are different folks around the world uh, that have different ideas about um, what's how to take innovation and end up creating their own economic growth. Uh, and we have Mark Anderson here who's on our advisory board who's going to talk for a few minutes to sort of set that stage because a lot of this is about protecting that value as it goes up the chain and it, for many years that meant legally protecting it and we will hear from that about how you do patents, how you do that sort of thing. But there's also how do you actually you know, physically, cyber-wise, et cetera, protect that intellectual property so that, in the end of the day, that economic growth that's supposed to come actually comes and isn't short-circuited effectively. And that's a growing problem worldwide. So Mark is a, a one of, you know, very good friend of mine. He's on the advisory board uh, of Cal IT2. He is the CEO of. Uh, the uh, Strategic News Service newsletter, which is uh, called by many the most accurate uh, weekly uh, newsletter uh, in the business in terms of making predictions. Uh, he is the founding chair of the um, 
uh, Future in Review Conference, uh, which The Economist has referred to as the best technology conference in the world, and to which uh, this building, Cal IT2, has, uh, and, and Qualcomm Institute has uh, had repeated engagements of when they were meeting in the Del Coronado, actually coming up here for an evening to play with our toys. Uh, and to understand what is coming in the next three, five, ten years uh, ahead. Uh, he has about 200 C-level people attend that each year in May, uh, now in, Lag in Laguna Beach. Um, and I'll be there for that whole meeting as usual. Uh, so Mark, um, Mark is also the founder of, um, of Invent IP, uh, which he's going to talk a little bit about to you. Uh, which uh, is an organization of both uh, corporations and uh, government officials that is concerned by uh, this issue of uh, short-circuiting uh, the, the process we're going to talk about today. So, Mark? Uh, 